before we start looking at um, how to do things on Mindsphere, I'm going to take a quick look at registering for the free account. Now, you don't get all of the functionality um, that you would probably like to see, but you know, you have to don't give everything away free, you know. That, but let's see what you get with this account. So, um, via Google, I've typed in Mindsphere login, and you can see here you get Mindsphere start for free. If you click on this, this is the first screen you get so you put in your, your email address and then you get this login screen now I can't remember whether I've got an account already so let's um, let's just go through and put some details in here I, I've registered an account so I've just got to now um, just confirm that via opening my email so this is the email that I have received um, I have to activate a web key the account and then it says activate account so I'm going to do it in that order and then we'll see um, what happens next so this is the uh, the screen that I've got for registering my web key so it looks like um, everything's being set up in the background for me so it's probably reserving a little bit of space on their virtual machine or server wherever it is so let's um, let it finish and then we'll move on to see if we need to register the account as well so this is the um, the new dashboard bringing me up to date um, the asset manager section looks pretty similar to to what we're looking at for the other videos so if we go to uh, assets uh, there's some examples here but we'll create a new asset and we can see here there's the mind connect IOT 2040 as an example and then we can we can play around with that so that's good um, if we go back home this uh, new section looks right up my street to be honest um, so there's there's two things on this this dashboard um, if we go back to our projects that we're, we're doing in node red so we have this, this is um, where we create our flows. Okay, so we're, we've got an example here. And then if we go to dashboard, we have this little button here. And I open a dashboard. Okay, and again, work in progress. So this is an edge type scenario. Now, if I go back to, to my sphere, um, what we have on here is something called Visual Flow Creator. I click on this um, let's just be honest it looks like node red um, what I would say is probably there's been some work put on some of these nodes here so I don't know how many of these nodes are open source and there's some uh, nice uh, visualization um, dashboard items here so audio chart so this is just using dashboard UI which is a standard open source node red but then some of these iframe I'm not too heat map linear gauge yeah, I've seen that before that's an open source so these look open source Vega I, I did look at that before I'm not too sure what that that was but um, yeah so that all looks like standard node red so we've got node red hosted um, in the cloud so just to, to reiterate this is the start for free license which it, which is okay um, but there's going to be some functionality missing out of this the next few videos that I've got on on my blog where we we look at connecting asset data are using a slightly different license which for me when I was working at Siemens was more or less free if you wish to have the same functionality that you're going to see in the next three or four videos um, uh, the basic package is, is where we start and that's where you get Fleet Manager for free um, within that package by the looks of it because you can see here basic capability with a focus on connecting assets and visualizing and exploring time series data well it doesn't really say that it's Fleet Manager, but that's what Fleet Manager is. 
Um, and then we bolted on the two other packages, which we're going to look at in um, this blog, which is um, Performance Insights and Notifier. Now, at the time, I got those as part of a value pack, but you can add them individually if you wish. So it's just give you an insight because you'll go away and think, right, okay, I can get this free license. I can do all of this stuff. What I'll do is um, I'll do a series of videos showing you what you can do with the free license and you know how powerful Node-RED could be on that platform. Um, I'm assuming that because I haven't used it yet. So this is an introduction to the next four videos where you will need at least this basic capability to, to work through these. So it's more of an industrial type scenario or license. So I hope that makes sense. So there we go, quick overview of how you can register for the, for the free license. I hope that proved useful. Thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.